One guy they could rely on was Dylan Batances. He only threw two thirds of an inning. He is a free agent. Have they engaged much with him? Do you see him coming back? They have engaged with him, Bob, but the vibe I was able to get in San Diego, and then this was repeated over the weekend, is that Dylan Batances is likely to pitch elsewhere in 2020. Spoke to someone who has had conversations with him, and the two teams that keep popping up are the Phillies and the Mets. And we talk about reading tea leaves, and this may mean absolutely nothing, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. When Carlos Beltran was hired as the Mets manager, a close friend of his had a dinner in Manhattan. The only active player who attended that dinner was Dallin Batances. So obviously a strong relationship between Beltran and Batances. And for Dallin, it was just a matter of talk about awful timing. Turned down a contract extension in spring training and then had an injury ravaged season. And if you look at it, I think he's been a little disappointed at the market. I think he was looking for a multiple year deal. Uh, you know, his shoulder is supposedly fine. And I think the Achilles will be fine as well. But everything I'm hearing is, is he's getting one year offers. So if it stays at a one year offer, I think the Yankees could still be in it as well. And and uh, maybe it's an incentive-laden deal. But remember, people say, well, you can't lose Dylan Batanzas, who've been great, but they didn't have him last year, and the bullpen was still lights out. Yeah, I mean, I think the one-year deal for Dylan Batanzas is not the worst thing in the world, right? We've seen it with Didi Gregorius. He goes to Philly on a one-year deal. You bet on yourself that you're going to have a rebound year. Dylan needs to prove to people he's healthy, not only the shoulder, but the uh, the Achilles. If he can do that and go out and have another Dylan Batanzas healthy year, there probably will be a multi-year waiting for him. I know he's getting a little bit older now, and he wanted to cash in, and Jack is 100% right. A terrible year to have all those injuries. But if you go out there and do it for one year again, the market's going to be there. And the evidence to support your point, Drew Pomerantz was a good reliever for a few months last year, signed a four-year deal. So if Patances goes out there and is that terminator that he's been, 14, 15 strikeouts per nine innings, Michael, maybe that three- or four-year deal that we talked about, maybe that's out there for him. And when you sign the one-year deal, you're betting on yourself. Yep. You're saying, I'm healthy, I'm going to put up the numbers, because when this guy's healthy, he's very clearly one of the best relievers in baseball. Not set up, man, just one of the best guys in baseball at what he does. So he's got to reestablish his value, and a one-year deal is the way to do it. Yankees fans listening to the news, social media will know that the Yankees did reunite with their former reliever, Adam Warren. It's a two-year minor league deal. He is coming off Tommy John surgery, so maybe not available till August or September. September, but he's kind of in a holding pattern. Can he help down the line? Perhaps yes. In the meantime, Jack, we talked about this, the name Josh Hader connected to a lot of teams, including the Yankees. In the week since we've been in San Diego, it doesn't seem like there's been a lot of traction. I think the thing you have to remember about the Yankees and Brian Cashman and his front office is they're going to check in on everything. And if there's a deal that sounds like it's too good to be true, or why would the Brewers move a guy like Hader, perhaps this is one of those deals. He can't be a free agent for four more years. He has had two electrifying seasons. The Brewers are trying to contend. I would also, my, my antenna would be up. Why would they want to move a guy like that when they're trying to contend? And the other thing to remember is don't take the three or four Yankee prospects that you think are someone you can discard and say here take this for Josh Hader if you make a trade for Josh Hader that's going to sting from your perspective